Hey there, Deluxe fans! Hope you're feeling exceptionally magical today! With Avatar The Way of Water potentially hitting theaters in late 2022, we are getting more and more information about the new characters that are going to be bringing the world of Pandora back to life on the big screens. Though most of the information surrounding the film remains a closely guarded secret that will only be revealed upon the movie's release, we fans have been lucky enough to learn quite a bit about our main characters, Jake and Natiri, and the family that they have formed together on Pandora. Today, we are taking a look at a single family member by the name of Spider that we suspect is going to play a large emotional role in the sequel to the 2009 masterpiece. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video to hear our theories on what sort of role Spider is going to play in Avatar The Way of Water. Now, the ending of the first Avatar film saw the rest of the RDA members that were on Pandora being rounded up and sent back to Earth by the Na'vi. Jake, along with a select group of people, including the Avatar team, were granted permission and chose to stay, with Jake choosing to remain inside his Avatar form forever and beginning his life with Natiri. According to news sources and online articles, Avatar 2 is set to take place either 13 or 14 years after the RDA left Pandora behind, and is going to follow Jake and Natiri, who at this point, have started a family of their own. They have two biological sons, Netium and Loak, and a biological daughter named Tukturi, who, like their parents, are Navi. But perhaps the most interesting member of their family is their adopted son, Spider. What makes Spider so interesting, at least on the mostly human-free planet of Pandora, is that Spider is actually a human boy that Jake decided to adopt when it was determined that he was too small to make the journey back to Earth. We got a few good glimpses at Spider in the first teaser that was released for Avatar 2 a few months ago, some of which has given us what we think is a good idea of what his role will be throughout the highly anticipated sequel. Our first look at Spider came at the very beginning of the trailer. He was actually the first being that we saw on the screen as he ran along the massive tree branch like vines that span across portions of Pandora's sky like spider webs. He can be seen running alongside Navi, who we presume are members of his tribe. I can't help but get Tarzan vibes as he hops and runs along the intertwining vines. The next we see Spider is 50 seconds into the trailer when we see him alongside with a Navi stalking through all the tall weeds and bushes as if they are hunting or possibly tracking something. This scene was immediately followed by a clip that seemed to show Spider and a group of Navi that are all armed with bows that are drawn and ready, and they all look shocked or surprised as if they had been ambushed. We only saw Spider appear in the trailer two more times after that. Granted, it was a relatively short trailer. He could be seen jumping off of some sort of ship or possible structure into the water, which is followed by a scene of Jake embracing one of his biological children along with his adoptive son, as if they had just gotten out of a serious or life-threatening situation. Beyond those scenes in the movie teaser, though, not much information was known about Spider, at least not until recently. According to an article released by Empire, Spider, who is being portrayed by Jack Champion is a human that was actually born at the military base that was located on Pandora before the RDA was forced to leave. At the time that the Navi were getting the humans off of their planet, it appears that Spider was too small to make the return trip to Earth, and according to the producer John Lando, Jake took him in, but Natiri always saw him as one of the people who destroyed her home and killed her father. Since being taken into the family by Jake, Spider has seemingly grown up with the Navi in the bioluminescent jungle on Pandora, and became a member of their tribe, at least to some extent. As we mentioned, the character of Spider is going to be portrayed by Jack Champion, who has been making his breakout into acting over the past seven years. You might recognize him from his role as Kevin in the 2018 movie The Night Sitter, and beyond Avatar The Way of Water, he has been credited to play the character Spider in Avatar 3, which is currently in post-production, and Avatar 4, which is currently in the process of filming. When it comes to the role that Spider is going to play within the plot of Avatar 2, it's hard to tell at this moment. From the trailer, we can clearly see that he is going to have an emotional impact on Jake, who clearly grew attached to his adopted son, as most people would and should. But other than the fact that he appears to be helping out the Navi, at least in the scenes or clips that we saw of him in the trailer, it's hard to tell what his position is going to be during the invasion of Pandora. That being said, we have come up with a few theories that surround Spider and what his impact is going to be on the plot of the movie. Our first theory involves Spider being approached by a member of the RDA, or possibly even Miles Korich, in an attempt to turn him against his adoptive family and tribes in hopes that he would side with the humans, simply because he is one. If that is the case, we hope that he would deny the RDA and continue to work with Jake and his family rather than being swayed into becoming a villain, much like Anakin Skywalker. While that would be interesting, I think it would be much more enjoyable to follow Spider down a storyline that has a positive impact on the future of the Avatar universe 
universe. Should he decide to side with or partner up with the RDA in any capacity, that could mean terrible things for the Navi, who he spent more than a decade growing up with and learning about. He would have all of the knowledge that Quaritch would need and could use to take down the entire tribe. There is also a chance that he is pushed into a position where he might want to side with the humans should he not fully be accepted as a member of the Navi. As the producer mentioned, Natiri has an issue with Spider and the fact that he is a human, so it wouldn't be strange to find out that others in their tribe share her disdain for him despite the fact that he had done nothing wrong. This could be the exact thing that could see Spider going to the dark side and teaming up with the humans during the invasion. Though, again, I hope that's not the case, especially since it does seem like Jake formed a very strong bond with his adopted son. One last negative theory before we talk about a hopeful one would see the return of Spider's biological parents, who would then be used as pawns to get Spider to either turn on the Navi or give up information of sorts. I mean, they wouldn't even actually have to be his parents. The RDA could get people to pretend to be his parents and try to have a fake reunion in hopes of swinging Spider into working for them instead of helping the Navi who raised him. As for my personal favorite theory about Spider so far, is that he will end up being the one to save his people from the RDA's invasion. Being a human, he would be able to blend in with people attacking him should the Na'vi be in a situation where they get captured. He would be able to infiltrate the human's base or camps and possibly even gather intel or save prisoners if that situation could arise. While we can't be positive about how the creators of Avatar are going to utilize his character, there is no doubt that Spider gives them a lot to work with and a lot of different plot lines that they could choose to follow. As for his relationship with his adoptive mother, Natiri, however, it would seem like we know how that's going to start out during the movie. We mentioned before that the producer revealed what the relationship between Spider and his adoptive mother, Natiri, will be, at least during the beginning of the film. The fact that the child is a human has clearly made it difficult for her to love him as she does with her other children. You have to remember, while Jake was at one point a human and likely feels empathy for Spider and his situation, Natiri is sort of the opposite. Humans invaded her planet, destroyed a large portion of her landscape, and even attempted to kill what was believed to be their deity and their home. So while Jake did what any anyone should do when they see a child in need and help him, all Natiri probably saw was a monster in the making. As of right now, it's unclear how long Spider and Natiri's relationship will be rocky throughout the movie, and if it will span across multiple films or not, but I for one hope they can find a way to bond so that Spider can be fully accepted into the family. As mentioned before in one of our theories, there is a chance that Spider is going to be the one to save everyone on Pandora, including his family, and since Natiri already lost one family to the humans, if Spider could save her current family, there is no way that she wouldn't accept him into the family, whether he is a human or not. In the trailer, we can see that Jake clearly has a strong relationship with his adopted human son, and this is likely because Jake knows what it's like being a human among the Na'vi, so it would be nice to see the entire family embrace Spider as they should have from the start. While we have an idea of how Spider's relationship with Natiri is going to work out, or at least start, it's hard to tell how or what his relationship with his adopted siblings will be. As we mentioned earlier, we know that Jake and Natiri are going to have three biological children who are all Navi like they are, so while Jake may have the mind of a human and that in common with Spider, no one else in the family is going to have the same traits and characteristics as him. Being Navi, Jake and Natiri's children, Natrium, Tukturi, and Lolak are all going to be lanky with blue blue skin and the same super strength that their parents have. Spider isn't going to have any of that for obvious reasons. This doesn't mean he won't be able to learn to keep up with his siblings though. As we saw in the movie, Spider is able to run, jump, and hunt alongside as nimbly as his giant blue tribe's people. Just because he is a human doesn't mean that he didn't grow up learning their ways and training to strengthen his body in the same way that the Navi did. While they wouldn't share their physical characteristics, Spider's mind is likely to be as in tune with nature and Pandora as the rest of the Navi. His hunting skills will most likely be nearly as good, if not just as good, after his years of training with them. And he can clearly maneuver his way around the forest as we saw him running around like Tarzan in the very first clip of the trailer. So, while he might not look like his siblings or the rest of his tribe, and while he isn't fully accepted by them on account of him being a different species, Spider, in his core, is just as much as the Navi as the rest of his family. At least, that's how the trailer makes it appear. There is no way of truly knowing until more information is released and the film finally comes out.
No matter what happens with Spider, he is certainly set up to be an interesting character and one that is likely to become a fan favorite. I'm curious to see how a human would be after growing up in a tribe made up of an entirely different species, in this case, the Navi. What about you guys? What would you like to see Spider's role be in Avatar 2 and the rest of the upcoming Avatar series? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. As for now, that's all Disney fans. Let us know what video you'd like to see next in the comments, and like and subscribe for more magically packed videos.